this before. <laughs> there was this. There's so much bitterness in her eyes when she spoke. I feel like a monster right now. <laughs> It is not your fault. I didn't know about all of this and he didn't tell you. He told me there was someone. He told me there was someone in the picture. <laughs> life you promised me? Is this how I am going to take care of my responsibilities? God, oh, this is not fair. What have I done so wrong that you have refused to smile on me? I work as hard as possible, still nothing to show for it. See God, eh? If you don't bless me, it's better you just just take my life so that I can rest. What kind of life is this? Baby! <laughs> Babe, I told you I have a good feeling about this. Sir. Do you know that, uh, Mrs. Mm. I knew now. Hey, honey, I've told you to stop hurting yourself with these tormenting talks now. Hey, please stop it. Look, babe, we are not lazy. Hey, and as long as we continue working, we will make it. All right, stop hurting yourself, please. See, you like this hurts me more than our financial situation. Hey, baby, please stop it now. Look. I have been toiling under the sun throughout today and this is all I have to show for it. When will all this stop? I can't even take care of you properly. I cannot take care of my own responsibility. This house, it was you who paid for this house with your school fees. I, I know what you're still suffering from your family because of what? I'm tired. I'm tired of explaining now. I need the result. What is all this now? Eh? When will all of this stop? When? Is this life, is it, is it even worth living like this? Can't. No, please. You need to listen to me, okay? Stop this thing, please. Stop it. God will come through for us. Okay, things will get better. I promise. I'm sure of this. All right? Please stop this thing you are doing now. You're not doing me. Please now, stop it. God, if you if you have anything you want to do, please now is the best time. Because this is this is suffocating. This is suffocating. Mm. It will be alright, eh? Oh, it's just too many now. Mm -mm. Don't worry. You're fine. Huh? Please, please, be fine with me now, hmm? baby. 
I ask nothing. This is fake smiling and smiling. Honey, honey, hmm? honey, wake up. My baby, has it been long? You came? No, just now. How is your day going? I've seen it. Not had many customers today at all. Oh. Hey, don't worry. Customers will come. Hmm? Okay. Don't worry. Can't you see my tree? I ah. made bountiful sales today. Hmm. Thank God, at least <laughs> one of us is doing well. Both of us, we are doing well. Don't worry. Have you eaten? Ah, don't tell me you've not eaten anything. I eat bread now. You ate bread? Mm -hmm. Bread and what? Bread and water now. Bread? Ah. Oh, babe, that's no food now. Eh? Bread and water. That's no food. But it's okay now. I'm not hungry. At least it's holding me. Don't worry. Um, let me go and get you something to eat. Let no, me get you proper food. No, no, no. Don't do anything now. I'm, I'm Don't worry. Do I'll, I'll get you proper food to eat. Don't worry. Uh, oh, yeah, nah. I'm coming. Huh? Honey, it's my job. I said I'll bring food for you. I'm coming. You're just troubling yourself. I'm not yet hungry. It now, why is there a way? Hmm? Sleep, sleep. Babe, she's a need mm. to talk to you. Can you sit up? Try. Mm. Please stop. Just, just sit up, okay? Babe, uh, what is it now? Can you not wait until morning? Just, just sleep. Hmm? Hmm? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. stand up. Let's talk, please. Sit up, okay? Open your eyes. Let's open. Babe. Oh. Open your eyes. Yeah, you open. No. Mm. Mm. If I want you to leave, no, you must leave. Leave how? I, I, I don't understand. I want you to leave this relationship or whatever it is we are doing. <laughs> what? Babe, you're joking, right? No, I am not. If I'm tired of seeing you suffer, it's too much. I can't continue hurting you like this. I want you to go out there and get yourself a better life. Please, just, just go. And you really think me leaving you is a key to a better life? Babe, you think money is the definition of a better life to me? Babe, what about the peace of mind? What about the comfort and the bliss my heart draws from being with you? Eh? Babe, what about Babe, all the... I need you to go. 
You just have to. Since we started this relationship, what have I given you? No, what have I ever given you? All I've done is take and drain you. I have watched your sacrifice. I have seen the blood and tears you drop just for my sake. I can't continue hurting you. You, you won't kill yourself for me now just because we are in a relationship. Babe, I need you to go out there and get yourself the life that you deserve. It will hurt. Yes. But this is what we must do. Okay? No. It is not. That is the worst thing to do. Babe, that is practically condemning me to an eternity of hurt and heartbreak. How am I going to live without you? How am I going to live knowing that you're not there? How can I even start on learning to love you, babe? The only time I will leave you is when I've drawn my last breath. And if you want to kill me faster, then go ahead with this destructive plan of yours. Babe, you have to leave. Okay? I cannot continue to suffer you just because you love me. Wow, it's not supposed to be like that. I'm supposed to take care of you. I'm Babe, to... I am not hurting. I am not. The only time I will hurt is if you continue to do this. Babe, please stop him. What we have to do to, is, is, is to work together. We'll, we'll get through this together. You need to stop it. Please. Please, let's just, let's, let's get this. Let's, let's, let's get through this together. Please, I beg you. It will be all right, okay? Stop it now, you're hurting me. Stop it. It's all set, man. Oh, really? Yes, I'm done. That was fast. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, pleasures. <laughs> I wonder what I would have done if I didn't see someone to help me purchase those tires. Nah, it's my job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you need any change, even if you want me to bring it to your house, aha, small thing, I'll bring it. I'll come and change it there. Thank you so much. So, you. how much is your money? Uh, uh, 1,400, man. 1,400? Yes, man. Okay. Uh, and I almost forgot to. I was able to beat it down. Oh, the tires. They wanted to do me all this. I knew them. I'm not a JJC. I'm, I know how much I buy these things. So, your balance, man. Are you serious right now? Like you're giving me the change? It's your money now. I can't take your money. No, it's shocking because I. I can't even remember the last time I saw an honest artisan like you. <laughs> I mean, I, this is how I do my thing. I keep my hands straight. But I can't take it now. It's your money. <laughs> yeah, man. It's fine. You've earned it. You can keep it. Ah! <laughs> ah! Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Ah, this one, you don't even need to pay me again now. Just... No, come on. Give me your account details. Yeah. Zero one two three one five. What bank do you use? Appin Bank, ma. Okay, hold on. Okay. You're Zero one two three one five four one nine one, ma. Thank you, ma. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sent. Thank you so much, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow. What's your name? Uh, Chinedu. Well, my parents called me Nedu. Oh, Nedu. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma. You're bye a bye. nice person. All right, <laughs> Thank you. Hey. 
3,000 just like that. Oh, Papa. Yeah. Ma? Um, okay, here is my card. Okay. Call any of the numbers. Your honesty needs to be rewarded. Ah, thank you, ma. <laughs> thank you. I will call, ma. Okay, please. Thank do. you. Yeah. <laughs> These stupid tax force people. They came and carried my machine. Your machine? Yes. Why now? They said I've not paid for, for, for two years. Two years? Ah. Ooh. Why, why didn't you say this thing since now, eh? I was thinking I was going to save up money to pay. The thing was just once the money comes up, the, another thing will just take it away. How much is it? It's 25,000 Naira annually. Then for two years, it's 50,000. And they are insisting that I must still pay 10,000 Naira fine. That's 60,000 Naira. Where will ah. I get that kind of money? Oh, babe, it's too much now. Eh? It's too much. Hi. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll we'll find a way to raise the money and get the machine back. Hmm? Raise which money? I'm not sure I'm going to see that machine again. Do you know how much you are talking about? 60,000. Yeah, where 60, will I get that kind of money from? We'll find a way. Don't worry. You know what? Let's let, let just go. Uh, maybe we'll find a way to oh, let, get See, let's just go. What Calm am I doing here? Now. What am I doing here? Calm down now, eh? Somebody will be behaving like they are no human being. Okay, what, what happens if they collect the one I have? Then I'll, I'll be paying small, small. I know I have Don't nothing. Worry. Don't worry, we'll find a way. Huh. Oh. Problems here yeah, and here. Okay. Calm down now. Good evening, ma. Good evening. Please, who is this? Uh, ma, this is the vulcanizer that fixed your tire earlier today. Oh, the honest man. How are you? I am doing fine, ma. I am actually calling because you asked me to call you. Yes, um, there is an address on the card I gave you. Come there by 1 p.m. tomorrow. Yes, yeah, show the security guys the card and tell them you have an appointment with the owner. All right, ma. Thank you so much, ma. All right. Bye. Bye. Good night, ma. <laughs> I know you got to... Oh, my God. Hey. She said that she come to her office. Hopefully something good comes out of this. Uh. Something good is already out. Eh? See, where is this address? Is this this very one, I don't know it. Hey. 
Okay, please let him in. Hey, Mister Nidu. Ma, good day. <laughs> good day. You're welcome. Please. Thank you. All right. Have a seat. Thank you, ma. Welcome once again. Thank you so much. The <laughs> office is beautiful. And Thank, you. Big. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I invited you over because I was overly impressed by your level of honesty. So I want to see if there is a way I can encourage that. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. Thanks. You'll have to submit your CV and application later to the HR All as right. soon as possible. I, I'll do that right away, ma'am. Okay, let me have the card. Oh, oh yes. The card I gave yeah, you. Yes, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. She kept it. Okay. Okay. So. Give the give this to the HR and they'll provide you with every assistance you need. All right, ma. Thank you so much. <laughs> God bless you, ma. <laughs> Thank <Welcome>. you. <laughs> abandoned his children. Yes, hey. he said so. <laughs> we thank God for showing us mercy even when we don't deserve it. We thank you, Lord, for letting your face shine upon us, upon me, upon me, Lord. Thank you. Ah, babe, most importantly, thank you. Thank you a million times for standing by me. My sweetheart, mm -hmm. my sugar plum, mm -hmm. my tomato oh, yeah, in no, no. state. Hey. <laughs> Babe, thank you. I'm serious. Thank mm. you. Without your support, your encouragement, and mm. your love, I would have given up a long time ago. But you stood here with me. You're still standing with me. Thank you. I appreciate you. Aww. You. You're welcome. But is that how to properly thank you? Uh -uh. Where's my girlfriend? What, 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 what have you done to my girl? I'm here. It's not to properly thank me. Hmm? Don't you know how to thank me? Hmm? Of course I do. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do that. <laughs> hmm? Baby. Hey, look at this handsome man now. My love, I don't like the way you're smiling anymore. Ah, it's too much. Don't smile like this at the office. Hey? Okay. Baby, turn around. Money looks good on you. Yo! Oh my god! Baby, you look so good. Eh? Yeah? You're good to go, my love. Yeah. Alright? Sure. May God's favor and blessing hmm? be upon you in this new job in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go before I roll it on my first day at work. And then, take off, okay? Use it for your lunch and transport. I don't want you trekking or starving on your first day. Please take one. Thank you. Babe, babe, I'll be fine. Okay, I'll manage. Let me just. I insist. Thank you. Okay. Please. Thank you. You're the most beautiful gift life has given to me. And I will not forget. 
I will not forget the role you have been playing in my life since the day one. Thank you. I am quite impressed by your driving skills. You're a bunch of surprises. Thank you so much, Ma, for your compliments. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm curious. According to your CV, you haven't done any formal job since you graduated four years ago, and not even a contract of employment. You graduated with a good grade. It's fine, you can talk to me. There is no shame in facing life as it is. Um, I... After I graduated, I had plans, but... A lot of things happened. I tried to search for a job, both in private and government establishment. It was difficult. A lot of things were going on. I can't even explain it. After a long time, I decided to learn handiworks, which vulcanizing was one of them. Really? Yes, ma'am. So what other handwork do you have? Ah, uh, barbing and um, <laughs> bricklaying. Wow. That's impressive. Um, I went through your CV and I noticed you her, you're not married. Why is that? It's fine. You don't need to answer that. <laughs> I know the answer already. You know, you are my employee, so... And one who has contributed to my safety. So I need to know all the details about you. It's all right, ma'am. It's fine. Okay, good. So when you get to that road, you go left. All right. Yes, 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 it's here. Okay. That's that black gate right there. Okay. Mm. So that's where you resume work from today. Okay. That's my house. All right. So that's the end you go left. Okay, ma'am. Is that where I'll be resuming work tomorrow, ma'am? Yes. Your two thousand man. And one, two. Here is an extra one thousand man. Babe. Hmm? <laughs> What's happening? Where did you get all this money from? It's my madam. She gave me the money. She said, um, you can use this for your transport uh -huh. and your daily feeding. Uh -huh. Five thousand man. Wow. Hmm. Does that mean she should be giving you five thousand naira every day? Yes, so hear yeah. what I just said. Hey! Every day that so rich, that lady is, huh. if you see her house, tastefully furnished, huh. things there, crispy, hey. if you see her car, if you see this, oh dear. Ah, God, thank you, thank you. So God has finally answered our yes. prayer. Yes, hey. he has. Hey! <laughs> God, thank you. Ha, ha. Try to take. Take ah. now. Hey. I have my own now. What, what's this one for? Use this to prepare a decent meal for us. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Let us eat something, some first tonight. Babe, no now. Eh? Just okay. take this one. Take it. Eh? Use it for work tomorrow. I'll use this one to prepare 
that decent meal for us. This one is your money. Use this to prepare the decent meal. I told you I will collect another one tomorrow now. Why? 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 Why did you go? I insist. What for my insist? Millionaire. All the money. Keep it. Keep it. I'm hungry. If you don't give me food, I will eat you. No, I'm sorry. Hey, Mama. Listen, Alfreda, I'm not interested in all the stories you're telling me. You are the management accountant and that's entirely your job. Don't interrupt me, I am still talking. Okay, I just got a tip off from my contact in FIRS about an impending indictment for the company in tax evasion. But I know that all the employees pay taxes and the company as well. But according to my contact, he said there is no such record for two years. Yes, absolutely reliable. I want you to look into it and get back to me ASAP. I do not want anything hitting on the company because of anybody's incompetence. Better do that as soon as possible. What are you looking at? Won't you face the road? I'm sorry, ma. I I just wanted to say something. I hope you don't get upset. What is it? I overheard you talking about um, tax and something about FIRS. Daniel. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking do you get your tcc what is tcc tax clearance certificate it is the legitimate proof to show that your company and all your employees are paying their tax and it is being remitted to firs and a company as big as yours should be getting it and if it is not obtained that means it may not be remitted to FIRS or it may be remitted to the wrong account. Are you saying there could be a form of tax fraud? I'm only suggesting that you apply for your TCC and find out where the fault is coming from. Okay, I think I'll talk to Alfred about it. All right, yeah. Thank you for your idea. Pleasures. He's quite something. Brilliant and intelligent. I wonder why he's still at this level with all the knowledge he has. Well, what can I say? Nigeria happens to many brilliant minds. So would that be all, man? Um, Chinedu, why don't you come in so Udwa can make something for you to eat? No. I noticed you haven't had something in my house before. No, my I ate uh, earlier and I'm fine. Yes. Okay, I insist. Udwa will be fast about it, so please, come in, let's have something together. Let's go! Yes, ma'am. You have a very impressive personality. I am mostly impressed by your level of knowledge and intelligence. Thank you, ma. You, you're also a very kind lady. Thank you for all your kindness. <laughs> if things had gone the way you hoped, what was your plan after school? I wanted to get my ICANN certificate and then establish my own accounting firm, but <laughs> here I am dealing with the reality of the nation. Well, you, you mustn't give up. I mean, dreams take longer time to actualize. So you have to keep the hope alive. That's the most important thing. 
Thank you, ma'am. And your family? Do they stay with you? No, it, um, it's just my, my mom and my younger brother. They stay in our village, Amagwa Kibubu village in Enugu State. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I asked because you look like someone who is under pressure from family. <laughs> As a man, you are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, one way or the other, responsibilities will come to you, even if you don't want it. So, but uh, I'm just taking it one day at a time. <laughs> yes. That's a very potent prayer. I like that. Your chicken, you haven't touched it at all. Oh, it's fine. If you don't like it, I can ask Udrak to get you some beef. No, 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 no. I, I, I was just hoping to take it home and share it with my girlfriend. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> You're a very, very, very funny character. Like, okay, that's fine. That's okay, but you can have that. I'll ask Udra to get you some when you're leaving. Ah, thank you, ma. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Big. You wish she gave you all of this? <laughs> hmm? This one is small. Let me open it. Eat it. Mm. <laughs> Do you know mm. I wanted to package the food? Mm. But she was there. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was just. Oh, oh, she refused. Mm. I just said, yeah, I can't pack it now. You know it will be somehow. Mm. We both decided to bring this one. Mm. But don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> this one is brought. They are enough. Uh, mm. I eat, ah. eat, drink. Don't drink. worry, it's very. <laughs> drink. Mm. Ah. Oh man, very kind. Very, very, very mm. kind. Mm. Do you know mm. when she was serving the food, mm. she was like, "Do you want more?" I said, "Do you want to give me? Just go, let me pack some." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't you? Uh, if you want water, let me know. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Right. Do you know I'm looking at this woman? Mm. I just feel that this our meeting mm. is divinely orchestrated. Mm -hmm. I feel this is a divine connection. Wow. I have a feeling that something positive is going to come out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have some now. No. Mm -hmm. okay. I cannot be looking at me to run now. I don't want any more. Mm -hmm. I eat there. Mm -hmm. Do you know the size I eat? Mm -hmm. Eat. I brought this one specially for you, so just eat. Mm. Mm? I don't eat. want to give you. Oh, maybe don't have some. Mm. Mm. Eat. I don't want. This is nice. My love. Eat. Ah. Ah. Want to bite my hand? Mm. Why is your own sweeter? My love. Hmm. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a little headache, and I've called my doctor already. So, Doctor Ren? Yes, Doctor Ren. Okay. He'll be here soon. Okay. So. Oh, don't. Uh, don't. Uh, oh, 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 um. Um. Uduak. Uduak. Ah.
drop your hand drop your hand you have you have the canola on just relax it and relax don't don't, don't try to get up what happened you <laughs> you passed out passed out yes when you came out and you called dr ben you passed out after calling him he was here and um, he, he did all this he said he will be back before the drip finishes to the office I would have slumped thank you so much I was just doing my job ma so he said that you are stressed emphasis mm. on the word stressed so he said you must take a long rest okay all right so, Ma, do you have anyone that can come and stay with you? Um, yeah, I, my friend. Okay. I'll go ahead to come tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, what about tonight? Do you have anyone that can come tonight? Um, no. It's just my friend, but she stays very far. So, I'll go ahead to come over tomorrow. Oh. Don't worry. I can take care of myself. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure, ma. <sighs> Do you need anything? Water? Anything at all? Hello, babe. How are you? No, nothing will happen to her. She's getting better. She just needs to rest. So, um, babe, I'm calling because I may come very late tonight or tomorrow morning. She has no one to look after her and I don't want to leave her all by herself. I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. So you take care of yourself, all right? Let me go and attend to her now because I, I've been out here talking to you for long, okay? Take care of yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. I love you too. Uh, who is there? Come in. Chinidu. Ma? You're still here. I thought you'd go home. Ah, uh, since no one was coming, I decided to stay back and look after you till your friend come tomorrow. Oh. That's so kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> So I thought that she might be hungry and I looked around the kitchen. This is all I could fix. Uduak, he left about two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Pleasure, sweet. Thank you very much. You're so sweet. <laughs> you must know how to treat a woman well. I'm just, I'm just doing my job. I will be in the living room if you need me for anything. Just give me a flash. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, ma.
what an adorable man you are, Nidu. Whoever has you is eternally blessed. You've got me wishing. Wishes. Okay, nothing is wrong with me. Dr. Ben said it was just stress. Why didn't you call me immediately? You would have called. What if something had happened to you? What would I have done? I didn't want to get you panicking. Besides, it wasn't something I couldn't handle. Has Dr. Ben come to check you this morning? Yes, he has. He said I am fine, that I need a long bed rest. Exactly my thought. Exactly my thought. I don't know why you stress yourself so much when you have capable hands you can delegate issues to. Mm. See, take your time. Oh. If I catch you and leave this house in the next three weeks, you know what will happen. I better go, Joe. You're laughing at me. You leave me alone. I'm not feeling fine. Have you eaten? Yes, I have. Udwak made me noodles. By the way, there's this young man I met outside. Who is he? Is something going on that I don't know about? What don't you know about? What is going on? Nothing. I think that must be my driver. No way. No way. Wait, wait, wait. You mean that handsome man out there is your driver? Wait, like your personal driver? Like your personal, personal driver? I don't understand. But babe, say, I, I really do not know. That guy is just confusing me in a way i don't know like, that is where that is where we're heading to tell me more about it tell me just me eh, i like i'm a boy i like i like i like <laughs> just me just me i beg <laughs> Why are you still at home? I mean, you're supposed to be out selling. Or are you not selling today? No, will I go out to sell when I have a sell my house? Oh, she's missing that. <laughs> Stop, Joe. <laughs> hey, hey how's Madame Doris? Well, the doctor said she's doing okay, but she needs bed rest. Mm. Mm, a long okay. one at that. Because people like that shouldn't be having any health issues at all. Seriously. Says the lady with the kindness and the most benevolent heart. Please, I beg, leave me alone. We don't start with all this, your flat rate. <laughs> okay. So she said I should take the day off and also relax. Mm -hmm. And she will get back to me once she's ready to go back to work. All right. Mm. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Mm. So, what will you be doing with your day off? Well, I'm thinking maybe you should just uh, forfeit your going to the markets and then uh, spend some time with me. I'm thinking maybe you should just forfeit it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And what if my fruits get spoiled? Will you pay for them? Fruit? Mm. What's the amount? <laughs> Call the amount. <laughs> what did it Milonia! Hey! <laughs> okay, I don't need your money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, this is what I want from you. I want one million hogs, mm -hmm. two million pigs, and unlimited amount of pigs. Are you a politics? Where do I start from? Mm -hmm. How do I start paying? Hey, 
See how you've clouded your mind with the thoughts of this guy. You even reciting a whole testament about this guy, you, babe. Babe, if you ask me, I really do not know what to say. I don't know what to do. One minute. I try to caution myself from thinking about this rubbish. And the next minute, I find myself thinking about him fondly. Like, these thoughts come and I really cannot control it. Oh. So, since when did you start having this thought about this guy? I can't say exactly. But I think um, the way he treated me during this little crisis. Hey, God, I think I know what's wrong with you. I think I know what's happening to you. What? Obviously, you're developing feelings for this guy. You're in love with him. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, please. <laughs> in love with my driver? You know what you're saying? The same driver you can't go away without thinking of. I beg. Yeah, babe, you're making me scared though. How can I fall in love with somebody that answers me, ma? What does ma have to do with love? Really? What does it have to do with love? <sighs> I'm just confused. I don't know. So what do you think I do? <sighs> you see, Love has no designated place to be found. I don't know about you, but if I truly feel something for someone, class or caste wouldn't matter to me. I will go extra mile just to make sure it works. So what are you trying to say? Like you want me to pick up this feeling? He is my driver. That's just the title he's bearing for now. He can be anything else if given the opportunity. <laughs> Besides, you said it yourself. That this guy is knowledgeable, he's full of potentials. If it's that same guy. <laughs> that guy is so cute. If not that you met him before me, oh my don't dish on one side. Hey, okay, get this. out, Jerry. <laughs> ah, you're even making things worse. I don't even know if you're making it better or worse, rather. No, see, I think this whole thing, the answer lies within you. Just just think about it. Honestly, think about it. Hey, I'm running late. I need to catch up with something. Don't worry, I'll call you. <laughs> Hey, Nidu. Good morning, ma. Good morning. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. No. I was busy tidying a business proposal upstairs. No, it's okay, ma. Okay, please. Have a seat. So, what can I offer you? N nothing, ma. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Dad. That's good. So, how are you, ma? I am fine. As you can see, um, better today. Dr. Ben insisted. So, I'm observing my rest. <laughs> yes, you should. But why are you here today? I thought I gave you some days off. Oh yes, you did. But I just thought I should come and check on you and know if you're really observing the rest you were told to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Nido. Pleasure, man. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me the way you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little I can do now, to make sure you're okay. Thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Man. You're such a nice person and Thank you like I said for taking care of me the way you do. I appreciate it. Pleasure, my I mean you are so kind. Is the <laughs> my own little way of reciprocating it. Um, can I ask you a question? Yes, ma. And I need an honest answer. I mean, I want you to be sincere. I have never lied to you and I don't intend to. All right. Um. Why do you care so much about me? 
do you have romantic feelings for me? Uh, um, I am so sorry. I actually did not expect that question. The, the, the truth is, you have been so kind to me and it, the little I'm doing is just to reciprocate that kindness, not because I have a romantic feelings for you, ma. Um, well, I, um... Well, you must know that my heart has involuntarily developed feelings for you. The feelings keeps growing each passing day. I don't know, I... I haven't felt like this in ages for any man. My utmost desire would be for you to be my man. Please. I, um, my, I, the, the thing is that I, I, I can't. It's fine. I know that's a lot to take in. Just take your time. Think about it. Okay? But you should know that my happiness depends on your response. <sighs> Babe, come on, eat. The food is ready. I'm not hungry, my love. Just go ahead and eat, okay? Babe, are you all right? You've been in this mood since you came back, eh? What is wrong? I'm fine. There's nothing. Just... I'm not hungry yet. You know that I know you're right. I know when you're okay and when you're not. And right now, I know that you're not okay. So please, tell me. What's wrong? How can I help? You know if there's anything at all, you'll be the first to know. I... I don't want to eat now. Okay. Mm. Just go ahead and eat. You don't want to eat now. Okay. Then the food will wait now. Until you're ready to eat. Then we'll eat together. Because I cannot eat alone. Mama. What? Don't. I will not eat alone. If you want to eat, you come. Let's eat it together. Okay. All right, let's. Beggy, Abti, babe, calm down. Relax. Relax. No man in his right senses will turn down this opportunity. Do you know who you are? Do you know how beautiful you look? <laughs> the CEO of a big conglomerate. See, all you should be worried about is if this guy likes you back and if his intention towards you are genuine or he's one of those players around. You know guys these days. <laughs> there you go. Babe, you don't know this guy. Nidhi is a very decisive person. I don't think he'll fall for any of the things you just mentioned. It's how I grew fond of him. Like, I can't even explain it. I'm just so scared. I'm scared he doesn't turn me down. Oh, my baby girl is in love. <laughs> With a driver. Oh, just please. like we see in the movie. I Can you have just story stop? Stop <laughs> it. Stop. I'm saying something serious and okay. you're making fun of sorry. me. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you don't have oh sense. my god. I'm sorry, see. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> it's just that the whole thing is just funny to me. I'm sorry. See, what you should be concerned about is you've made your feelings known to this guy. If he likes you back, fine. 
And if he doesn't, just let him be. It's so simple. Ah, oh. and you think it's that easy? No, tell me, you think it's that easy to just let go? <sighs> I don't know how I just developed feelings for somebody I barely know. My driver. <laughs> Your love. <laughs> Your love. I will love. That man where they sweet you so. I pray to make God give me my own. Nadu? Yes, ma'am. Ah, please, can you just stop calling me, ma? Call me Doris. All right, ma. Um, sorry. Have you thought about what I told you? Do you have a reply for me now? Uh, I'm sorry, ma. Sorry. Doris. I don't mean to be rude or disrespectful ungrateful but I'm sorry I, I cannot do what you are asking me I already have someone I'm sorry ma'am uh, Nidu I I am not trying to influence you with my status as your boss or with my wealth that's far from it. The truth is that I... I don't know why I feel the way I feel for you. But I know that my heart genuinely and earnestly yearns for you. It's like a magnet that attracts me to you. Even when I try to fight it, the stronger it becomes. Nidu, please, classify this storm which only you can quench. Nidu, please. I am not trying to influence you as your boss or anything. I am just a helpless girl whose heart is captured by you. Ma'am, honestly, I am really sorry. If the situation were different, I should be the one begging for your attention. But, Ma, you, you're a kind person. You're beautiful, you're classy, you're every man's dream woman. But I'm sorry, ma'am. I cannot be your man because I already have someone, someone I truly love. And she loves me too. She has sacrificed everything for me. I'm so sorry, Mike. I cannot do what you're asking me to, and I cannot have two women in my life at the same time. Please, ma, let's just find a way to resolve this so that no one gets hurt.
see, I don't like this thing you're doing to yourself. Honestly, I don't like this thing. What is all this now? I don't know why you're hurting yourself over somebody you just met a few months ago. Is he the only man in this world? I beg, stop this thing, I beg. You won't understand that me. You won't understand. Nido is not just that man. You know how long it was since I felt this way. Why can't I be with a man who has ignited this feeling in my heart? Tell me, why can't I be with him? Why can't he feel for me the same way I feel for him? Why? Oh babe, he gave you his reasons. See, If you ask me, this guy is just being so sincere and straightforward. Honestly. I mean, you know how most guys are these days. They just want to jump over any rich girl they see. Just to take advantage of them. But he didn't. I feel you should just respect his wish, honestly, and move on. That's the issue. That's where the problem is. I just cannot let go. I can't. Babe, honestly, I don't like this thing you're doing. You're hurting me. You're even making me fall for him the more. How? These reasons are why I just cannot leave him. He's you not know, just an ordinary man. Dami, please. Please, I beg you. Can you help me convince him? Please, just help me talk to him. Do something. Hey, this guy doesn't love you. Just, just move on. Just move on now. There's so many guys out there, so many rich guys out there who, who are dying just to even touch your hand. Just See, people are not, they, they do, they are not, they do. This person is different. You don't understand. I haven't felt like this in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I be with him? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, okay? Just forget about him. I'm here for you. A hug is a great gift. One size fits all. Ah, hey. <laughs> you like them? Did you say like? I love them. All of it. Ah, babe, thank you so much. My pleasure. This is my little way of saying thank you for all the sacrifices you have made for my sake. And to remind you that I am aware of them and I appreciate you for it. Thank mm. you so much. Oh. <laughs> I never done said that. Mm? Not even for a second. I know you, Nido. And I know how much love you have in your heart for me. Mm? Thank you for being the custodian of my happiness. Yeah. It is your support and encouragement that have kept me going all this while. And I will never forget it. I just want to remind you that my love and loyalty will always be yours. Baby, you're making me so emotional. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. I love you so much, I can't even explain it. Mm. Daddy doesn't like it. 
Okay, it's fine. Just give him whatever he wants. They'll be with you in the supermarket shortly. Okay, all right. Thank you. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Yeah. You must be Nadu, right? Yes, I am. Okay, um, Nadu, my friend is hurting so much because of you. And that hurt me too as well. The feeling towards you is tormenting her, and I feel we should do something about it. I already have someone. Someone who has made sacrifices with her blood and sweat. Her encouragement and support is one of the things that have seen me through life till today. Madame Doris is a very nice person. If if situations were different, I would have grabbed this opportunity with, with an open arms. But that means me hurting the prom person who have stood for me for almost my entire life. I'm so sorry, ma. She's not coming. She said you can take the day off. Oh, my God. the best thing to do honestly because I mean keeping him will only cost you more harm <sighs> but would that be fair I mean he only applied for a job to be my driver he didn't apply for me to start developing feelings for him and now he's going to lose his job for something that isn't his fault. Babe, things are not always fair. And this is the fairest you can be to yourself. You need to let him go so that you can start healing from this feeling that is tormenting you every day. You need to let him go. And if you feel so bad about it, then compensate him or get him fixed somewhere. Me. Am I a bad person? Am I selfish? Oh, do I look like one of those people who oppress people with their wealth? Dean, we need to stop. If everything is fair, nature wouldn't have allowed you to develop this feeling, knowing fully well that you both won't be together. You just have to stop already, please. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, see. Hmm? You'll find someone who will take care of you emotionally, who will give you all the attention, all the love you desire. Okay? So just prepare your mind for that and stop thinking about this guy. You need to stop and plan yourself very well for a better love that is coming. Mm -hmm. Okay? You need to stop your heart saying, stop it. Yeah, I'll be fine. <sighs> just be okay for me. Huh? Yeah. You, you said you wanted to eat something, right? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Relax. This is my house too. I know the way to the kitchen, please. <laughs> well, I invited you here because I have some decisions to make and I need your help in doing that. Okay. Well, what you insinuated about the taxes indictment turned out to be true. Alfred connived with someone at the FIRS and siphoned our taxes Jesus. for two years. Wow. And the issue was fake receipts. Alfred is currently cooling off at police cell, while Emma has been promoted to his former position. 
Oh. And that leaves us with um with a vacancy at the accounts department. Okay. Judging from your CV, you're fit for the job. That, that, that is wonderful, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate it. But there is a problem here. I cannot continue to behold your face because of the feelings I have for you. The feelings you ignited in my heart hurts me even when I see you. So, that leaves us with a decision to make. What decision, man? You'll have to be my man for you to take up that position. And if that is not possible, I am sorry you have to tender your resignation later. Mm -hmm. Mama, but that, that is not fair. Now, what, what have I done? I have not done anything wrong. I've been doing my job. I am sorry job. to do this, but I have to protect my fragile heart. You have three days to decide on what to do. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I cannot. It, no, it's... but that's fine. Just take your time and think about what to do. What you do? The take home is 600,000 with other incentives. No fair at all. Telling him about the job vacancy is like bribing him into becoming your man. See, in as much as you're trying to do right by your heart, you should also consider the fact about how you feel too. Babe, I'm trying. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm not just thinking straight right now. I never believed I'll be begging a man to be with me. I never begged for this to happen at all. <laughs> but look at me. Begging my driver to be with me. Um, see, D. <clears throat> it is obvious this guy is not ready to give up anything for the sake of that woman. And you know it. If you keep fighting this, you'll keep hurting yourself the more. So just, just let him go already. Let him go. I am trying. I really am. But babe, I just cannot let him go. I can't. For the first time in my life, I am begging a man. I'm asking a man to be with me. But uh, see, this is... I know this isn't going to be easy, but I cannot get this guy off my heart. It hurts. Babe, it's okay. You'll be fine. See, all you have to do is just, just let go of him so that you stop hurting yourself the more, please. You just have to try. I love Nido. I love Nido. I love him so much. This is going to be difficult. Please. Can you please beg him to take me out of this bitter court?
Good evening. Mr. Chinedu, what are you doing here? Is everything all right? Uh, please, I need your urgent help, please. I guess it is because of the option my friend made, right? Yes. Please, I cannot do what she's asking me to do. That will mean me hurting someone who has been there for me all my life. And please, I do not want to lose this opportunity. This job, I have prayed for it. It is like the miracle I have been waiting for. Please, I do not want to lose it. Help me talk to her, please. <sighs> Mr. Chinedu. Uh? I am personally not in support of the option she gave you. Yes, that's unfair. Honestly, I have listened and learned how dedicated and how committed you are to the woman you love. But my advice to you is that you should leave entirely. Leave? How? What about the job? Leave the job! Leave Doris' life! Go somewhere far away! Please just leave her life! For the sake of her peace of mind! For the sake of your peace of mind and that of the woman you love too. Please just go somewhere far. Whatever you want, you can get it elsewhere. But please, just leave for this whole storm to die. I'm tired. You seem not to understand or you're not, you've not been listening to what I just said. I have said the job is what I have been waiting for my entire life. How can I leave it just because of something I am not in control of? That's not fair now. How can I just leave? Let me talk to her. She listens to you. Just, just make her see reasons why this cannot work. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Honestly, I can't. See, just take my advice and leave for the sake of everyone involved. She's up there. I need to go take care of her. She's crying. All thanks to you for hurting her. I need to go amend the heart you've broken. Thank you. Just leave. I thought I told you that my madam traveled. Oh. I was in your coma and she returns. Now, oh, wow. Big man job, sweet though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. So, what will you be doing with your deal? Just rest. Yeah. <laughs> you. Enjoy your day. Uh, there's food in the flask whenever you're hungry. Okay, my beautiful caregiver. Mm. Thank you. Please don't start. I have to go now. Come on, get you to take my spot. You know that okay. woman? She has been behind her, my spot. Let me rush. <laughs> have Bye. a lovely day. Bye. Bye. Yes, I need a financial statement for that particular production, and I need it as soon as possible. Yes, please. Um, okay, I will call you back. Oh, please. Nidu, what is this? What are you doing? Please, just stop taking my job away from me, please. Nidu, please, can you just, can you just stand up? No, ma, please. I'm if you not... want me to listen to you, can you just stand up? Ma, promise me Stand that... up, Nidu, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Please sit. If you want me to change my mind on what I have said before, I'm sorry I won't do that, but please have a seat. Well, please sit. 
my you don't you don't understand this. I'm sorry to see you hurting like this, Nido. It hurts me badly as well. This was never the plan. I brought you in so I can reward you for your honesty and nothing more. But I'm so sorry things turned out to be like this. I'm sorry, I just... I just need to protect my sanity and my fragile heart. Please, forgive me. No, please. If I have offended you, I am sorry. Okay, I, I, do, I don't even want the job at the office. Just let me keep my driving job, please. You came into my life and you helped me. You pulled me out from that wretchedness. Please don't send me back there, please. Just let me keep my job. I, I, I promise I'll, I'll try and stay out of your way. Just, just, just. You are my messiah, and if you send me back there, well, I get another job, please. I'm sorry, Nido. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nido. I'm sorry. so sorry my love but this is what I must do for us please forgive me Later. Right. Lido, what are you doing? Don't I have the right to kiss my woman? I don't understand. You like. Yes, yes. I will be whatever you want me to be. What about her? I've taken care of her. Yeah. Are you for real? I just realized this. Almighty God for making this day to come. You are the way maker, mm. the miracle worker, mm. the great provider. Mm. Oh God, may your name be highly exalted and glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Ha! God, so finally, ha, Jehovah. So finally, we're going to have a taste of living mm. and not just suffering. Ha! Jehovah. Oh. May you bless Madam Doris. Amen. Ha! I bless her going out and coming in. Amen. Oh God in heaven, may she prosper. Amen. She will live the days of her life prosperously in Jesus' name. Amen. Ha! Jesus. Ha! God. Babe, 
who would have thought that God would smile on us like this? I ah. don't walk in a mysterious way. <laughs> so finally, we're going to leave this house. Yes. Ha! Ah. <laughs> oh, may your name be highly exalted. Yes. Ah. Jesus, yes. thank you. Yes. Jehovah. <laughs> Huh. We are grateful to God. He has never failed. <laughs> Make sure I keep that word in my heart that He has never failed. So you'll be leaving me for one month. How do you expect me to survive that now? Oh, babe. I thought I'd have explained to you how this is. I know. I know this is long. I'm also missing you. I started missing you unbearably. But this is the sacrifice we must make for our future. Babe. This is the first time I am working in a corporate capacity. And the company made this training mandatory for me to fit in. Please, you need to understand. Baby, it's one month though. Eh? One month is too long now. Eh? How do you want my heart to survive this? Okay, see. What I will do is I will find and hope for a time to come out. So that I can just come and visit your best, invite you over. Once the opportunity comes, I'll make use of it. I want you to be strong for your baby. Come on. I don't want the last of you being the, I mean, your memory in my head being the sad face that I'm looking at now. You need to smile for that. Smile. smile. Maybe it's not about smiling, Joe. It's not about smiling. If you are going to keep this sad face, I'll just sit down. I'll just sit you down. You dare not. You better stand up. Ah. <laughs> All right, come here. Mm. Come now, come and leave that. Leave that. Yeah, about the hug. You you give me the hug now. You will not give me tomorrow. All right, just hold the one I'm giving you now. Hold it for one week. Then I will text you tomorrow. Big now. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm thinking we should invest in these three projects and then we keep a contingency funds for the pretty glam world global. Are you listening to anything I'm saying? I couldn't concentrate. Listen. Your cute face would make me. But the same. Come on, babe. We are the office and this is the office. Hours. Luckily, I am the boss. I decide when work starts. An end. Oh, okay, but let's just stop. Oh, please, come off it. Having you by my side right now is all that matters. So, can we go swimming? Like, right now? Yes, right now. What's, this is still office and hours. And afterwards. Okay, but this is still office come hours. Come on! I am your boss, and this is an official assignment. Let's go. I see what you did there. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Babe? Have you thought about what I said? Uh, the vacation? Yes, the vacation. Will you go with me? <sighs> Babe, don't you think that we are moving too fast? I don't understand. Me moving too fast, how? Do you have doubts about us? No. No, no, it, it's not that. It's just that I'm looking at 
I, I feel that we are moving too fast and it's not good for our relationship. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, for me, I'm sure that I love you. Yes, and I want to be around you. I want to be with you. I'm sure that I want to explore the world with you. Maybe there's... Are you sure there's nothing holding you back? No. I, I am completely yours. There's nothing holding me back. It's just that I am new to this sweet life and the whole thing kind of overwhelms me. I'm just asking for time to get used to it. That's just all. Oh. Okay. Fine. I... I'm sorry I make you feel overwhelmed. Just that I love you so much and I've never loved anyone the way I love you and that's why I'm excited about it. Look at me. I love you so, so much. And yes, I promise that I'll do everything to make you feel relaxed and comfortable. I promise. Thank you. I have no doubt about your feelings for me. And I am grateful for all you do for me. I do not take them for granted. I'm just saying a little more time to adjust to this new life. That's all. That on your face. Oh, where? Wait, wait. Don't, don't touch it. Just close your eyes. Close it. So it doesn't go into your eyes. Okay, Just close it. Okay. Wait, let me take it out. Trixa, I see what you did there. Here, right? Come here. I missed you. See, see, listen, when you called, I was in an executive meeting. It was the company. There was no way I could go out to pick your call. Okay, I'm sorry. How is that even possible when I miss you this much? Oh, see, I've missed you. I've missed you so much. And I can't wait to be with you, my, my, my sweet sugar plum so that I can get all the sweetness that I have missed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's soonest, too, okay? Just soonest. Oh, beam, oh, beam, calm down now. You know, you know, I have no control over these things. Please just hang in there, okay? I will soon be with you soonest. Babe, are you all right? Are you sure? Dizziness and weakness. Those are the symptoms of malaria and possibly typhoid. Okay, it's okay, don't worry. I'll send you some money to get some drugs and um, send you more money so that you can get whatever you need. You're always welcome, my love. You know, everything I do, I do for your comfort and happiness. Okay, um, I need to go now. I have another meeting by 10.30. 10.30. Eh? Mm -hmm. Have a beautiful night rest. Sweet dream, my love. I don't like this. I don't like this. 
You've barely been back for three days and now you're disappearing again. Hmm? How am I supposed to cope with this tormenting absence of yours? I even spent the past month without seeing you in this house and now you want to leave again. Left for me, I will stay and spend every second with you, but this is the demand of the job and I must meet it. What kind of job is that? What kind of a job is that that will not allow you to stay at least one week in your own house? Eh? I cannot even reach you on phone. Anytime I call you, it's either you are in one meeting or another meeting. Hey, how am I supposed to cope with that now? Eh? I spent the last month in this house alone and I've been sick, babe. I've been sick. And there's nobody here to take care of me. How am I supposed to cope with that now? Mm. Babe, I understand how you feel. And I feel the same way too. The problem is I'm trying to settle in with this job. I just need to normalize everything and then every other thing will fall into place. All I'm asking is that you exercise a little more patience, okay? I promise you, we're going to live the beautiful life we wish for, okay? I mean, this is beginning to hurt. This is beginning to hurt seriously. I miss the way we were, the love, the attention, everything we shared. Babe, I can't live like this. I can't live without the bliss you bring to my heart. Please, don't, you don't have to go. Okay? Come on, babe. Why are you torturing yourself with such thoughts? I can't even dream of a life without you. I want you to understand that nobody can take me away from you. Not in this life, nor the next. Babe, I love you. I love you more than life. More than life itself. You still don't have to go. Oh, please, don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me it's all right. You ghosted me the whole weekend and couldn't even take my calls. You spent three whole days, three whole days without any form of communication with me and you said you loved me. I'm sorry, it's just that I was trying to... You were what? You were with her, right? No, tell me, you were with her. I thought you said you ended things with her before we started dating. You assured me of that. So what happened? I just needed to sort some things. That's why I went to see her. It, it took you three days to sort things out with her. Oh, please, tell that lie to the beds. Can you just stop? It's not what you're thinking. I, I, I'm, I'm being honest here. Okay. It was just... It was just what? Tell me. It was what? Just certain... Nedu, please. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, I get it now. You can do whatever you want, but you said this whole game you play, I'm tired of it. I am no longer doing this with you. I have showed you everything. I've showed you that I truly care and love you. But this is what you give me in return. Nedu, you need to decide on what you want. Because at this point, I'm not doing this with you anymore. Babe, calm down. Yes!
sorry. I did not intend to upset you. It's really not what you think, believe me. I promise it won't happen again. Do you even love me? Does my feeling matter to you? Of course you know I care about you. Then why are you hurting me? Haven't I proven my love to you countless times? Why is it difficult for you to stay committed to me? Tell me. Is that too much to ask from a man who has my heart captive? Why? Why can't you stay committed? I'm sorry. I... I went there to put an end to her stalking. She won't let me go. She won't let it go. I just wanted to let her know that things has truly ended between us. But now, you have me completely. That was what you said the last time. That was what you promised before. How am I supposed to believe you? How? I am sorry, for you have shown me what true love is. You have pulled me out from dungeon of poverty and you have brought me into the light. I am not an ingrate. The least I can do to show my gratitude is to be committed to you. I was just there to clear the air. Listen. Everything I had with anyone ended the moment my heart was certain that it is you it loves. And I am here. Here to stay. You have me. You have my heart, you have my commitment, completely. How am I sure you're saying the truth? I am. 100% I am. Then show me. Fine. look prettier when you're happy. Yeah. I do not want to be the one upsetting you. I don't want to see that kind of face.
Wake up. Hmm? Take up. Any love is for me. It's too late now. Do you think it's too late to pick this girl to drop me? That's the more reason you should take the call and tell her it's late. <laughs> Hello? I told you to stop calling me. Babe, what are you saying? We're no longer an item. Stop calling me, especially this late. What are you saying? Uh uh. We're done. This, this relationship is long done. Stop it. Stop this rubbish. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? I told you it's a matter of time before his heart finds itself to me. Now look at Nedo. He worships the ground I walk on. <laughs> and you believe those crap he told you just because he left his ex-girlfriend in your presence? Do you know what he might have told her in your absence? Why are you being pessimistic? What are you even saying? Um, see, D, I I am your friend and I owe you nothing but the truth. See, you're only deceiving yourself to even think that Nedu Nedu will be committed to you in this relationship. Girl, you're just being blinded by love. Can't you see it? I am the one with him and I know what I feel. I know commitment when I see it. And Nedu is totally committed to me. So please, stop it with all this, your negative energy. I beg. D, honestly, I'm always here for you and I got your back 247. But to be honest with you, this part you will take in your heart to eventually get hurt someday. Please, just try and think things through. D, I am more than a friend to you. I am your sister. I am your best friend and I don't ever want to see you get hurt. Please, just think about these things, please. Dami, I will not get hurt. I am fine. I know what I am doing. So please, I'll allow see. me to enjoy this. When you get your heart broken, I will be in Dubai I enjoying myself. I will not myself. get my heart broken in Jesus' <laughs> I will be name. in Dubai it enjoying myself, but you will not see me here. It, this is okay. a lifetime <laughs> relationship forever. So mm -hmm. please. If you're jealous, you mm -hmm. tell me. I will be the chief bridesmaid. Nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> Chinedu, this is a very difficult situation and hence a very difficult decision. But you have to make it. You have to choose your future over love. Yes. It's true she stood by me through the storm. But you must put the sentiments aside. You should focus on building a future that will be free from poverty. That's exactly what Doris is offering. And you must take it. Yes, I know, I know, I know. She made some sacrifices to get me to where I am today, but that can be compensated now. Stop that thought. Come on. It's not a matter of being fair. It's about your future. You have had a taste of both lives and you know the difference. 
Or do you want your children to go through the same nonsense that you went through? But this is what I must do. So you are here? Uh, 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 yeah. I, um, yes. I've been looking for you all over the place. What happened? Why are you here? What are you doing here? Look, just, um, I came to receive fresh air, that's all. So, you missing me already? Yes, I am missing you. Let's go inside. <laughs> Your mosquito is here. Okay. How can you leave me in? I am oh. sorry. I didn't leave you. I just wanted to... blood pressure from worrying about you. What happened? I'm fine. Okay. But I, I, I tried your number and someone picked the call. I, I, I couldn't understand what he was saying. And then I tried again and it was switched off. Babe, just tell me what really happened. Nothing happened. I'm fine. O okay. So where is your luggage? Is it is it outside? Yeah, uh, about that, Linda. You and I need to talk. Did you just call me Linda? Okay. What are we talking about? About us. You and I. This um, relationship. I need a break. <sighs> Wait. You're joking, right? No, I am not. This is the decision I have made. <sighs> wait, wait, babe. Let's get this straight. Are you breaking up with me? Babe, were you the one who picked the call and said those things to me? Listen, I am sorry this whole thing is happening this way, but this is my decision. What did I do wrong? People have been through everything together. I've given eight years of my life to you. What crime did I commit? Please talk to me. What have I done wrong? Listen, Linda, I, I came here to let you know about my decision and to ask you to please forgive me. I know how much this decision of mine is going to hurt you but I am asking you to please move on in good faith forgive me and I will try to make it up to you in whichever way I can I, I wish you the best do you, really, do, do you really understand what you're doing please do, do, you, do you know what you're doing babe how can you just leave me like that I, please I I just told you my decision like I said, I am sorry. Okay? I need to take my leave. Hey, please. Hey, please. Hey, please. Hey, please. I'm begging you. Please don't leave me. Please. Please don't leave me. Please don't go. Please, I'm begging you. We'll, we'll, we'll get through this together. Please. Hey, please. Don't leave me. Please. I'm begging. Please. Okay? Hey, please. 
your support and encouragement that have kept me going all this while mm -hmm. and I will never forget it I just want to remind you that my love and loyalty will always be yours Yes. <laughs> 
did you get this big money from? Don't worry about it, okay? This is the money you need to complete your school fees so you can finish your finances. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Where did you get this money from, Linda? Don't worry about it. Just use it to do the needful. Linda, you and I know that I need this money to complete my school fees, but I will not touch a dime from this money if you don't tell me where you get it Nidu, from. Nidu, this is not the right time to be stubborn. Please, just use the money to do what you're supposed to do with it, please. And I told you, I just told you I cannot. Just tell me, what is the source of this money? Where did you get this kind of, this kind of money it's, from? It's fine, it's fine. I'll tell you. This is supposed to be my school fees and welfare for one semester. But you do you need it the most. <laughs> You need it. What about your education? What, 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 what will now happen to your school fees? Babe, during your final year, I, I, you need this money. Use it for your school fees and accommodation. I think this should do for like, it will take you like two more years for your accommodation. Okay? Babe. Worry. Once you're done with school, I'll still see if I can add something. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is enough. Uh -uh. This is enough. This is extremely serious. What are we going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. He said I'm the worst thing that has ever happened to him. He said I am a disgrace. I don't even know how he found out I was no longer in school. He said I am dead to him. He said he has disowned me as his daughter. This is serious. Why, why, would he, why would he say those things to you? It's too harsh. I've never seen him like that before. Never. He was shedding tears and he swore to lay a curse on me if I ever step foot in his house again. He gave me one month. One month to drop his name, else he will arrest me for impersonation. I don't even think I have a father anymore. I doubt him, I will have a father. It's okay. It's okay. It's
Jesus Christ. No, what are you doing here? How did you even find this place? I mean, bro, I've come to talk to you, eh? I've come to know why you've chosen to shred my heart like this, they do. Please now, eh? Why have you chosen to forget about everything? The plans, the promises, everything. You've forgotten about everything, eh? See, babe, Linda, coming here was not a good idea. I need you to leave and please move on. Move on and stop coming here. Stop holding on is to the Is it because of her? Is it about her? Mm? Is it about Madame Doris? Can you reduce your voice? Please, please now. Please. Has she brought you over with her wealth, eh? Has she promised you the, the life you can never have when you're with me, eh? They do please. But why are you? Why are you doing this? Okay, can, can you can you just stop? I'm not ready to do this. Just go. I'll, I'll okay, I'll come. I'll talk. Just go. Please. <laughs> So, so, please now, why have you chosen to destroy me? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Please don't. Let's go and talk outside. Please. No, please. Please, just go. Just go. Please. Don't come back here. Please. Go. 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 world that is stronger than love. <sighs> That's a very tricky question. What do you mean by stronger? I mean, is there anything in this world that is more compelling and controlling? Like love. <sighs> well, I don't think so. The whole human existence is controlled by the heart and mind. So if you ask me, I'll say love is the strongest. I thought so too. Because it defies every reasoning, every logical reasoning. Yeah, that's true. But why did you ask? I was just wondering why a beautiful lady like you, classy, well connected at all levels, why you will go for a nobody like me? <sighs> Why? No. No, no, no. I am not doing this with you right now. I am not going through that with you. Why? Are you scared that you will let me in on that? I just said I am not doing this with you. Excuse me, who are you? My name is Linda. How did you get into my office? I lied. I, I told them that you're my cousin. <sighs> okay, so how may I help you? Ma, please, can you let him go? Please, can you let me do go? I, I, I know why it's, 
easy for him to choose to stay with you. But please, man. Please, I'm begging. Please leave him for me. He's the only man my heart beats for. Please. A young lady, I don't understand what you're talking about. Seriously, but I will not accept this embarrassment from you. So I will advise you to just leave my office right now to avoid me calling the security from you. I have sacrificed everything for Nedu. Every single thing for him. I gave up my academic pursuits just to see him through school. My own family disowned me just because of my love for Neduma. Please, I'm begging you. Please, just leave him. Please. Um, um, Linda, or whatever you call yourself, please, uh, leave my office. Mateke, Get from... out of my office. Mateke. Get out! Sylvia! Linda, I am very sorry how things turned out. It was never my intention to hurt you. It's just a situation beyond my control. I am sorry. I wish there was... You wish I could have been the rich woman you wanted. <laughs> Where they all like? of my life I sacrificed for us. We are all for nothing. The love and forgiveness you promised. The assurance and loyalty you swore to. Where the convenience lies you had to tell so I'd continue to invest myself for your comfort. Linda, you know, you know that what we had was never a lie. You know that every of my actions towards you was sincere. You know that every word I said to you, I meant it. It's just I cannot. It... Until they suddenly do not mean anything anymore. Until you found a more convenient option. Until you found money, which has been the utmost desire, right? I came here for us to settle this. For us to talk about this so that we can both move on. And I... Here. This is the check of three million. I know Money. It is nothing. Money need to... <laughs> That is all there is to it, 
right? Three million naira. <laughs> well, I bet uh, it will cover up for everything that I've lost. It will bring back my lost academic pursuit, right? To bring back my family that I've lost because of my love for you. It will turn the hands of time and bring back all the years that I've lost, right? Most importantly, to feel the emptiness that is in my heart that your absence has created. <laughs> Edu, I am dying. I am dying. I don't know how much longer I can hold on. I'm sorry. I cannot. I, I just, just can't. Just Take the money, let me go. They don't look at me and tell me you don't love me anymore. Look at me and tell me that everything you ever felt for me is gone. Say it and I'll leave the remaining of my miserable life never to disturb you again. Say it, Nedu. Don't be a coward. I do not love you anymore. Everything I feel for you is dead. I am pregnant. Just to let you know. But I guess that doesn't matter anymore. You are pregnant? How am I supposed to handle this? How can I be the cause of another woman's tears? This is never who I wanted to be. Dear God. How could you allow me to land in such denima? In Nidu, I found the love and comfort I have so much desired. But being with him is causing another woman so much hurt. To think that she sacrificed almost all her life for his sake. God, what should I do? How am I supposed to handle this? Chinidu, what are you doing? Why are you hurting the only woman to whom you owe your entire survival? The only woman you can never stop loving. Are this wealth and future you are so fixated on worth more than the happiness of a woman who gave up her entire life for you. Is it? Now she is carrying your baby and you're going to let her go through that alone? And for what? Because you're scared of what the future will bring. Is that it? God. How did I get here? How did I get myself into this mess? What should I do at this crossroad? How will I handle this? God, please help me. I need your help.
Pretty please. What's all this madness? Now you need to stop. You're hurting. No, no, that's enough. That's enough. Stop it. This will not solve any issue. Please. You're hurting yourself, D. You're hurting. I have never felt like this before. <laughs> there was this. There's so much bitterness in her eyes while she spoke. I feel like a monster right now. <laughs> Yourself, it is not your fault. I didn't know about all of this and he didn't tell you. But he told me there was someone. He told me there was someone in the picture. If I hadn't enticed him with the job, knowing how hard life was for him, he wouldn't have accepted to be with me. He would have been with her and she wouldn't be going through what she's going through. Hey, I know, but it's still not your fault. You're only trying to protect your heart. <laughs> <laughs> what we should be talking about right now is how to sort out this whole issue. What do I do right now? Tell me. I have come to love Nidu so much like I have never loved any other man in my entire life. <laughs> See, this love thing is not by force. Right? It's not by force. If I'll be honest with you, I think it's time you let this guy go. Let him follow whoever he wants to love. Please. Keep you are really, really hot. See. See, I am here for you, okay? I am here for you. I'll be with you. I love. I am so sorry it has to end this way. Believe me, there is no other way. I have thought back and forth and I see no reason to continue occupying space in this world. I am a walking corpse without you. You are the entire essence of my existence. The only reason my life is worth living and without you, there is nothing left for me here. I have to go. I don't blame you for anything and I don't regret the time we spent together. If for anything, I am so grateful you showed me the sweetness of love while you could. You made my life beautiful and I am grateful for that. I am deeply sorry I'm taking our unborn child along with me. And I hope you will forgive me. Please find the happiness you crave for and leave.
Linda. Jesus Christ. Linda. 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 Linda, please, please. 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 Please, okay. Linda, wake up, wake up. I'm I'm here. Linda. Linda. I was scared. I was scared of future. I was scared of poverty. And I just lost it. I know there is nothing I will do to make this pain go away. I, I can't even explain how much you've endured because of my insensitivity and bad decisions. But all I'm asking is just one chance. One more chance to atone for my sins. Just give me the opportunity to stand by you and keep atoning till the last day. I am so sorry for all you had to go through because of me. But please do not send me away. Seeing you at that hospital fight for your life made me realize how stupid and insensitive my decisions were. I know there is nothing I can say or do or compensate for what you have been through. The sacrifices you have made for me are the kind of sacrifice that one doesn't repay with a lifetime. All I am asking is just give me one more chance. One more chance to right my wrongs. Give me the chance to stand by you and use the rest of my days to atone for my sins. It was never my intention. It has never been my intention to hurt you in any way. I just lost it along the line. Now my darling, I am back now. And nothing, not even death, will take me away from you. Please, my love, forgive me. I'm so sorry. It is you I love. It is you I want to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, please do not send me away. Please. It's okay, babe. Thank you. Thank you, my love. Thank you. I'm, I'm here. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here, my love. even a distraction. I will never let a distraction come.
very unlike him. He hardly goes more than three hours without calling me. And he's not been taking his calls for two days. I feel like something is wrong. I can feel it. See, you need to calm down. Shinedu is an adult and he can handle himself. You just have to calm down, please. Ah. <sighs> Babe, I can feel this. You badly. feel. You keep feeling. Every time. Someone is knocking. Come in. Babe! Babe! Yeah. Where have you been? What happened? You didn't come back home last night and you've not been taking your calls. I'm alright. I'm fine. I'm sorry I didn't call you. I... I, I want us to talk about something. Can um, Dami give us a little space? Oh no, no it's fine, you can say whatever it is. Dami is family. Please just sit. I hope all is well. I... I wanted us to talk about us. This relationship, I want out. I, I cannot do it anymore. It was... It was my mistake. Misplacing my priority. And I am terribly sorry. I am honestly sorry for all the pains my action will cost you. I do not intend for it to be this way. Please forgive me. Tomorrow, I will just uh, tender my resignation letters to the HR and I am ready to accept any punishment you want to take or issue to me. Please accept my sincere apology. Never ever intended to hurt you. I'll take my leave now. I'm sorry. This is the most heartbreaking moment for me and <sighs> I was hoping that it's something I'll be able to get over but I guess this this hurt is not something I can get over easily though it's it's not your fault I I thought this was going to be different. I thought it was going to be a different outcome for us, but the heart knows what it wants and you can't force it against its will. I guess I learned this the most hurtful way. I am sincerely sorry for the part I played in everything. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. We've gone past that now. I got your resignation later. But I'm sorry I am not going to honor it. You've proven to know your onion. And we are not going to lose that talent for this. <laughs> so, um, we, we, uh, I have decided to transfer you to another branch. Because I don't think it would be suitable for us to work in the same environment. You know, seeing you hurts. 
I, I totally understand. But so I'm not losing my job. No. Not on your account of our broken relationship. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. God will bless you once again. You have proven to be my Messiah. God will bless you. God will enrich you. It's fine, you do. The HR will communicate with a letter of transfer. So, good luck on your new office. <laughs> Thank you so much. I... <sighs> okay. Um, thank you. Thank and you. one more thing. Yes. She's a good woman. Treat her right. Thank you. Baby. <laughs> My darling, how was it? It was fine. It was fine, right? Mm -hmm. And why are you looking extra beautiful? Did you go there to do some makeup? I guess so. You put on some <laughs> Hey, is there anything greater than love? No, love is the greatest. Exactly my thought. Love is the greatest. And I love you. I love you too. Now come here. <laughs> you don't drag me, baby. Oh yes, your highness. Um, but you need to enter your car and relax. As always. Easy, easy. Just um one step at a time. Easy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. 